<clears throat> this is the hedge at Rootham Heath and uh, if I can get my shadow out of the picture this is May and it was laid at the end of last year and um, just starting to come back as you can see by the green on the top and uh, we laid it this way because we didn't want any brush on the track side so we thought we'd lay it in the Midland style and um, opened up the track nicely this side if I just spin across was laid three years ago and they recently flowered it I think in February um, it's greening up though, it doesn't look too bad a lot of field maple in here, a lot of hazel and we also, if I get down, we also dispose of the dead wood uh, in the back of the hedge um, for all you purists out there you may not like that but we didn't want to chip it um, and it's very very dense and also very wide now if I show you the back of the hedge you can see the stake line to the left and that's a great environment for the birds and the stems are starting to break out and eventually by the end of this summer you probably won't be able to see hardly any of the cutting but uh, there's an idea this was laid at the end of last year so um, it's looking good someone seems to have found one of my old stakes though so I'm going to move that because that doesn't look good We used birch binders, or I used birch binders. Um, has cut 600 uh, from the coppice that I'm working in the winter. And I uh, just want to show you how stock proof, if that was uh, to be used where there was stock involved, um, there's no way they'd get through there. And. Uh, A lot of field maples and I'm sure all you hedge lads out there are familiar with field maples because they do not lay nicely and in here they were easily over 20 feet in height. Got my shadow in the picture which is awful. That's probably better. So there's a piece of field maple there, all broke out, all breaking out. And eventually it will break out from the root stock again. And all those shoots will go up through the hedge and make it nice and thick. And I guess they'll cut it with a machine. Probably late summer, I would think would be good. They don't always do that though, which is a shame. I just think it keeps its shape better rather than trudging along the field when it's soaking wet in the winter. Okay this is probably one of the better sections of the hedge here. I'll just step back a little bit, give you an idea what the front looks like. I'm just going to spin the camera. back again slightly different binding to the south of England which uh, I'm sure of you a lot of you out there know the difference as I say a lot of hazel not much thorn actually, just loads of field maples. 
and uh, the really bigger ones were at the other end but this is probably the best section of the hedge here and um, there's a big field maple there big cut loads of dogs mercury coming through which is very poisonous hence the name uh, that probably is getting on for 16 18 feet long there are bigger ones in here though very hard to get through the stake line because of the size um, but you can cut them again further along the stem and then you've got a bit more flexibility.